What's up everybody, Ebert42 here, back with some more Madden 16 Mutt Market Analysis and Ebert's Investment Binder. We are wrapping these into one this week. So we are looking at the Super Bowl promo. Um, I, I threw out some fire uh, flip tips for you guys on this, but I also just wanted to mention that um, you know everything in this is really flippable right now. The gold players, the elite players, um, the elite collectibles, all of it. You can get in, you can flip all this stuff. All the normal stuff that I've talked to you guys about flipping is working really well right now. Um, Legends badges, elite badges, uh, you know, if you're really, really broke, uh, base elite players and base RTTP players, whatever you want to flip, you can flip it right now. Uh, but I wanted to talk a little bit about this, this set. I don't think anything in here uh, is really investment worthy. Um, I do think that you need to sell your Schefter stars if you have any. And then the one thing I am looking at for the Ebert's Investment Binder this week, uh, and I talked to you guys about this last week as well, is that I'm anticipating a Legends bundle this weekend. We should get one more uh, Playoff Legends, a Legends bundle, and then uh, then I think we're going to get Ultimate Legends. And I think Legends badges are going to jump a ton the first weekend that we have an Ultimate Legends player. So if we get a Legends bundle this weekend... And Legends badges are once again available for between 20 and 25k. I will be stocking up on those. Um, I might go pretty heavily into those in anticipation of the first Ultimate uh, Legend player coming out. Bam. Uh, and that's really it. You know, I got rid of all my road signs. Uh, I told you guys to pretty much sell out of a lot of the stuff that I had told you to invest in over the season. So hopefully you profited off of some of that stuff. Um, now for the market analysis, a lot of this stuff is really expensive right now. The bundle that's out for these is really crappy. If you look at some of these sets, 13 gold, 13 elite Super Bowl players. If we go take a look at these, the gold players are going for about 6k for the cheapest, like 6 or 7. These elite players are going for around 60k. Um, these are for about 5k, and these we saw we could get for 1k. So 5k on these collectibles is 25k, plus another 5k for the gold ones is 30k. Uh, plus, I did the math on here. Sky was really expensive. It was like almost a million. And what really hurt was the elite players. You know, 13 elite players at 60k a pop is, it's just redonk. What, well, what is it? Uh, 780,000? Yeah, that sounds right. Oof. Plus, we got to add in the, the 30 from here. We're at 800. And then these guys... It might be another 100. It's a little under 100K, I think, for the gold. So he's a little shy of a million to put together if, if you look at opportunity cost, what you could sell all the, all the pieces in there for. So uh, we do have, uh, you know, I haven't looked at the Breeze yet, uh, but I know that this Lockhart is really awesome. But that's what's driving the prices on a lot of these things right now is those sets that everything goes into. Now, again, we look at these bundles. I've heard some really bad things about these. 10 of these plus five uh, Super Bowl items, gold or better players. Uh, you know, I heard somebody ripped three of these and didn't get a single elite player. Oof, oof. So I'm thinking that we're gonna get some new promo bundle in a day and 10 hours and it's going to get a guarantee an elite player that's my prediction that's kind of what the trend has been the first bundle is really bad in a promo the second bundle is really good it's going to tank a lot of the prices on a lot of those items um you know all of those things will come down so if i was holding on to any of those i would recommend selling them i'd be looking at selling them uh, i've sold my elite collectibles I uh, flipped a ton of these gold collectibles. If you guys didn't check out the fire tip, go check it out for this week. Uh, the quick flip tip is just awesome. Uh, but if we if we look at the elite players from this promo, Jacoby, what up? Thanks for stopping by, buddy. It's gonna be pretty short lived tonight. Long day, uh, but yeah, you guys can see they're up to 70k. If you sort down a little bit better, um, like we were doing with other positions, you can find some of these going for cheaper. 
65 on these guys, etc. Uh, anyway, all this is going to come down. If I had any of these, I'd sell right now. I definitely wouldn't be looking at doing those sets if you want to do the sets for any of the heroes. But will wait until the middle of this week. We're going to get some sweet bundles um, that are going to drop these things, and they'll drop prices on a lot of this stuff. I guarantee it. So, uh, team, I'm holding my team. A lot of people uh, are anticipating another market crash soon here for Ultimate Legend hype and uh, final. Uh, they do like final players and position heroes and all these really awesome things will be coming out soon here but uh i'm really happy with the squad you know a lot of these guys did go down in price a little bit some of the you know the 92 guys um uh, i have my halfbacks you know but uh, overall i got this taylor and the jones for cheap and they both went up in price i picked them up during the market crash so i actually think i got the roll and no i had the roll i got the woodson during that too uh, it was just, that was a great, great Sunday, adding those guys to the squad. Picked up this Wilkerson and the Locket. Man, this Locket is super quick. Uh, he's been working really well at throwing bombs, too, and a lot of the challenges, that 97 speed, 97 excel. So, um, yeah. That's really all I got for you guys. Uh... Hold tight on these. If some Legends bundles come out this weekend, make sure you invest in some Legends uh, badges. If you're holding any Legends badges from the last time I told you to invest in them, I would say sell those now if you haven't already. Um, I'm not sure what they're going for, but probably 35 to 40k, like I said. Uh, we'll be doing some giveaways next week. It's uh, really all I got for you guys. So, uh... If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button. Smash the subscribe button if you want to know when I'm coming out with more content. Come follow me on Twitter, everybody, at ebert underscore 42. I tweet whenever I'm going live, doing giveaways, coin tips. Tweet some coin tips without putting them anywhere else, too. So uh, make sure you get in on that action. And if you are watching on YouTube, come check me out live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Central Time. Unless there's a blizzard and my wife drives in to the ditch like this week, then we'll start an hour late. But we'll start nonetheless, so you can count that I will be here every Tuesday streaming for you guys. As always, big heart, thanks for the support, and we will catch you guys next time.